one. Greetings and welcome, friends. We were talking yesterday about parallel lines and transversals. We were able to prove things about angles when we knew lines were parallel. Uh, and what I've got here is uh, last night's quest, page 135. I'm going to show you some problems, help you out, hold your hand, walk you through this. So it says, which one doesn't belong? One of these things is not like the others. Okay. Let's see if we can figure this out. Uh, angle one and angle three. What's the relationship between angle one and angle three? They're, they're corresponding, therefore they're congruent. So these were congruent to one another. Angles two and angle four, those are alternate interior and therefore congruent to one another. Right, Isaiah? Uh, angles two and angle three, oh, those are consecutive interior. Those are supplementary. So uh, an angle one and angle five are opposite exterior. Those are congruent. So I'm guessing the ones that don't match are angles two and angles three uh, because they are supplementary and not congruent. Um, yeah, arguably there might be some other interesting relationships that we could have determined, but I think this is fine for now. This is this is the most obvious one. Let's see. Here we go. And in, in uh, problems three and six here, tell which theorem you use when you find the measure of angle one and angle two. Here we go. Can I, can I land this? Bam. Good. All right. So uh, measure of angle one is 117 degrees. Right, Isaiah? And I know that because of vertical, vertical. angles theorem. And then let's see, measure of angle two is going to be congruent to measure of angle one. Uh, so it's going to, its measure is going to equal 117 degrees. I could have proven that to 117 using alternate exterior. I could have proved it to one using either corresponding angles theorem or alternate exterior angles theorem. I eat. All right. You tracking this? All right. Question six. Measure of angle one is going to be congruent to the 140. So measure of angle one is equal to 140. Why is that? Someone tell me. Alternate interior angles theorem. I right? There you go. And let's see, angle two, uh, I am suspecting would equal 40 degrees. Someone give me one explanation for that that links to one, or okay, I won't say, you can pick. Josh, which, which explanation do you like? Uh, they're supplementary because of, of what? I agree, yeah, def of supplementary would have been used. It's supplementary with which angles or angle? Uh, sorry, yeah, 1 and 140. How do I know it's supplementary to angle 1? Yeah, Jack, what do we got? Tag team. Oh, no. All right, yeah, the one that's the other one that starts. So let's see, consecutive interior angles theorem, right? Those are going to be supplementary. Def of sup would get me to that. Uh, what's another explanation that I could have given for it? How does it relate to 140? What's the relationship between those angles? Those are adjacent. More specifically, they are. A linear pair, and therefore by the linear pair postulate, that's right, right? We know that that would be 40 degrees. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, similar, similar problem. Uh, in exercise 11, find the measure of angle 1, 2, and 3. Explain your reasoning. Okay. Um, let's see. So let's do, let's find measure of angle 1. I'm going to say angle 1 is 100 degrees. Why is it? Isaiah, track with me here, man. <laughs> uh, measure of angle one is 100 degrees because of consecutive interior angles theorem, okay? So, yeah, it's going to be uh, consecutive interior angles theorem, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, I could then go to angle uh, two. I don't know. We're saying 80, okay. And why is that? Alternate. 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 
<laughs> well, which angle are you relating it to? Let me ask you that. I don't think we can relate it to 80. We, Why not? Because it is not connected to the lines that form 80. You've got to relate it to angle 1 and then to 80. Okay? How does it relate to angle 1? How does it what how does it relate to angle one? What type of angle? It's not a square. Corresponding interior angles theorem. Okay, I, I don't have a way to link 80 to 2 yet. Combining these, alright, combining those, I could then now come up with a new theorem that when you have two pairs of parallel lines that are intersecting one another that the opposite angles, if we wanted to name it that, are going to be congruent. But we didn't know that yet. We don't have a name for those types of angles just yet. How about measure of angle three? Hundo. I like it. And which angle did you relate angle three to? To angle two or the 80. I can't relate it to one. I don't have a name for those. Those are like opposite angles in a parallelogram. We'll eventually talk about that as properties of parallelograms. But right now, we don't have a way to relate those things, but it is a consecutive interior angle with angle 80 or angle 2. Or angle 2. All right, let's keep going. Here we go. Oh, dear. No, you didn't. All right. Uh, it turns out you were right. Actually, No, I'm just kidding. Question marks was not the answer. Uh, but let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, so let me draw a picture. It says, prove the alternate exterior angles theorem. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to draw uh, two parallel lines. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut them by a transversal, like so. All right. Uh, we're going to uh, label these as parallel Excellent, excellent. All right, gentlemen, let's focus here. Let's focus. I, I have a feeling many of us would have struggled with writing this proof. So, uh, so let's let's track with this here. I'm going to set up. Uh, that's not a good idea. Actually, you can develop a lot of false positives if you only rely on the back of the book. Well. But choose wisely. Don't set yourself up for future failure by I mean, saying, it's right it's like, yeah. Oh, you can actually generate false positives where you recognize a pattern in their answer that is then falsely reinforcing your wrong way of thinking. So you got to be careful. All right. Give yourself the legitimate struggle of trying to solve this all on. I know. Would Your you own. like just give us the student edition? Sure. Example, I can give you both. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Saying. So uh, let's say, uh, let's label these lines. Let's call it L and M. Uh, I don't know. So I'm going to say L is parallel to M. Why do you think that should be true? Because it says so. I'm going to say given. All right? Given. Because we're only proving this in relation to parallel lines, right? I'm not trying to prove anything about alternate exterior angles, Isaiah, in any other situation. Isaiah, track with me here, man. All right. Don't be disruptive, friend. Uh, so let's label some angles that might help us out. I'm going to label, uh, let's see, alternate exterior angles. If I label this one and this two, uh, that's going to be a pair of alternate exteriors, but I think I'm going to need a stepping stone either labeling this one or this one. I could work with either. I'm going to label that one. I think those are the only three things that I need labeled. I'm going to say angle one is congruent to angle three. Why is that? What types of angles are those? Oh, those are the vertical. Vertical angles theorem. You got it. Man! Winning, winning streak here. Kill streak. He's going to call in a UAV. Let's see. Uh, angle one is congruent to angle three. Let's see, let's say this. How about angle three is congruent to angle two? How do I know this is true? How do I know these are congruent? Corresponding angles theorem. I like it. Okay, how about this? Angle one 
is congruent to angle 2. Look at what I've got here. Trans. Wow, again, yeah. Right? It, it logically follows from those two statements. If 1 is congruent to 3 and 3 is congruent to 2, therefore 1 is congruent to 2, I can just cut out the middleman, right? Just say 1 congruent 2. Uh, something like that. So, uh, yeah, transitive property. And we're done. We just proved it. Guys, we just proved it. Now, you don't just believe this is true because a math teacher told you. You know it's true because of reasons, right? And and these are these reasons. So uh, thank you for watching, Internet friends. TNN, un día, el más bien del mundo.